Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what the universe feels is going to be good for you today. You know, some little guidance on things you could do to help ease your mind, better yourself, you know, whatever you feeling. So let's see what is some something good that Pisces can what good news can Pisces use? <laughs> Oh, Pisces, accept love. Okay, that's a good thing you can do today. You can accept love, whether it's self-love, love for someone else, love for someone who is hard to love, love for someone who needs your love, but you don't want to give it to them, right? So it's about accepting love today. Okay, whether you getting somebody to accept yours, however the wind howls on that one. Okay, we gonna get three of these messages. Okay, we have um, air magic. Okay, air magic. So breathing. Okay, may be a good thing. Taking ten deep breaths really quick. You know, trying to let your belly hit your spine. You know, try to get that cerebral fluid flowing up the chakra system. You know. You know, air magic, right? Look, light some incense, some cone scents, you know. Be light as a feather in the mind. Receive the messages from the divine. Okay, air magic. Damn, that almost sounded like a rhyme. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's get one more. What's going to be good for Pisces today, universe? And we have affirmation for healing the heart. Mm. An affirmation for healing the heart. And I'm going to let you resonate with that. How you resonate with that. Because I know on so many different levels. It's personal for each individual. So these are some good things that you can do today. To kind of get you balanced and in alignment. And you know just feeling good with self. All right, Pisces, so let's hop into it. Today, we're going to use the African-American tarot deck, and we're going to um, get some messages. Let's just see what guidance, what's the messages here, what's going on. We got the lover showing up. First card revealing itself, okay? We also have the Ten of Swords. I'm going to push this back because it's getting out of my way a little bit. All right, there we go. So let's see. We got the nine of pentacles. Mm-hmm. And we have the high priestess. So this is what's in the energy, Pisces. Okay, that's around you. This could be in you, coming towards you, or around you. Okay, we got the lovers. Just crossing that. Seven of seven of wands. Just take a real good look at this seven of wands. What do you notice? Right now, what I notice is that there's a boundary, there's a fence, there's a blockage, right? There's a kid and there's some darkness, the shadow of death, we are call it, right? And he has a wand, okay? The opportunity, right? But look above him. There's a class and, and there's a woman teaching lessons, possibly about bullying, about friendships and, you know, uh, protecting one another, sticking together because we're stronger together. Right. We could get picked off easy if we uh, not that mighty fist, sort of like her line off of Big Mama's house, not Big Mama, uh, soul food. Right. But anyway, let me get back on track here. What I'm trying to point out is that this kid, right, is like teasing this darkness, teasing like, nah, 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 you can't get me some type of shit, right? Don't forget the lesson up there because whatever you, like you teasing this figure, but that figure is right there in you. All it has to do is reach out and grab you because you done locked this thing inside of your aura field inside of where you supposed to be protected is right there right so somebody let their guard down to the wrong person 
You feel like you safe with this person, but it, the reality is it looks like they waiting on a moment to strike. Just take a real good look at this seven of wands. Like for real, that thing trapped in there with them. You forgot the lessons you learned. Okay. And you arrogant now, right? And, 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 and what is that? I feel the Leo energy is out there. You arrogant. You think you all that. You think you above the law. Right? You think you it can't be you. Stop feeling like it can never be you. That's the thing I used to tell my children all the time. Stop thinking that it cannot be you. Because right in here is you. And you don't even know it. You forgot the lesson. Right? What I say? Something about bullying or, you know, sticking together. You, It's easy to get picked off when you run off on your own and think you can handle this life alone and think you don't need nobody. Think everybody beneath you, you above them. And I'm not saying that's you, but that's the energy that's coming out right now. And little do you know. The fucking darkness is right in there with you. It can just reach out and touch you. Humble yourself. Protect yourself from the real enemy. Now that's what's crossing this energy. Some of y'all need to know who the real enemy is, okay? Because I'm going to skip past this lovers. I'm going to go straight to this ten of swords. Some of y'all been in the belly of the beast and didn't even know it. And when he opened his mouth because he was being attacked from your archangels, from your spirit guides, right? Coming down to protect you. Throwing daggers in the back. That, that beast opened his mouth and you realized that you was in some type of prison. Now that you done seen that it's something better than being in the belly of the beast, you want to be free now. You want to be free from this demon, this, this darkness. Not demon. Come on, girl. Right? But this, this darkness with the situation. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. And I'm hearing, even if you got to do it on your own, even if the people you love don't want to come with you, once you put on the universal glasses, you can't take them off. You know, once you start seeing shit for what it is, you can't unsee it. You know what I'm saying? So even if you have to escape on your own, That's what you got to do. I also heard that you could come back for those who, 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 because everybody ain't waking up at the same time. Every not, everybody not becoming aware of what's really going on around them at the same time. So sometimes you just have to go off on your own, right? Make um, ends meet on your own, however, whatever that means, right? Look, look at this, working hard, very focused, okay? Listening to this intuition. That's what the universe is telling me. Listening to this intuition will lead you to your victory. Will lead you up out of situations. Because this is the God that lives within you. This is you. Having your own God-like image that still talks to you. Because you've always been in tune with it. Now you have to feel me for real. You have to hear me for real. You have to be careful. Right? And you have to protect this God-like image that lives within you by all costs. Because guess what? The enemy, the people, the situation is just waiting for the attack. Yeah, you up on your high horse. You think you all that. But I see all your weaknesses because you alone now. You left everybody. You let everybody get away from you because you felt like you could do everything on your own. And I'm just waiting on my moment to strike. That's why your God-like image, the high priestess, Pisces card, is so important to you at this time. It's important that you listen to your intuition and that you following it, that you can even hear it, that you not letting it go astray. Okay, it's important that you know what your intuition is telling you is to be true. Okay, because love will have you fucked up. Partnerships will have you fucked up. It's a beautiful thing. But you have to realize who you around and what time zone you in and what environment you in and how the, the neighborhood is or the city, the, the surroundings. Like, what are you surrounding yourself by? You got to be careful of them people, right? Because sometimes your partner ain't even in the same city. 
I just hear the universe saying, wait for me, wait for me, okay? Wait for me. Until then, protect yourself. Don't don't be up on this horse, right? Don't don't feel like you above everybody else. Don't don't judge books by their cover. Don't downgrade nobody, right? Build partnerships, build find them strong people who got the same beliefs like you do, and them the type of people you hold on to. Anybody else you can let go. But don't feel like you above the rest. Don't bully. Don't tease. Don't uh, affect how somebody they go and affect how they feel. You know, stay genuine to yourself. Don't fucking go around becoming the monster. Cause the monster waiting to consume you, right? It's waiting on you to fuck up. It's waiting for you to let it in. Find a way to, for you to let it in. It's important, man. And sometimes it can come in through love, right? God, I, I just felt like I needed a deep breath. All right, so let's talk to this Ten of Swords here. It's like somebody's seen something different, that dawn of a new day. I've been living in the belly of the beast this whole time. Now I realize there's something else, and I had a taste of it. Now I put the glasses on, and now I can't take them off. I see it different now, and I fight for that. I'm fighting for that, even if I got to go on my own, right? Because guess what? Somebody's been protecting you. Somebody's been protecting you this whole time. What we got? The magician. Okay? You've always been divinely protected. And you've always managed to come up out of sticky situations. I keep hearing you've escaped death so many times. You've escaped near death so many times. Just by listening to your intuition, right? Knowing when to move. Believing in that intuition is what's been keeping you alive. And that's God because it supplied you with everything you need to be discerning and know the difference. Right. So with this magician comes out, it lets me know that you hold the magic. You are the chosen one. You are the one to lead your family or your friends into a, a whole nother dimension. Okay. Not, not those that ain't ready. That's why the nine of pinnacle is here because sometimes you just have to venture off on your own. You have to get away because you get too comfortable. Right. And as you grow and learn, everybody ain't moving on that same pace. So sometimes you might have to just go ahead and you could come back for those that, that, you know, will follow and not that you're trying to be somebody leader you here to wake them up you here to you know show them a new way of life you know and that's just by you being you it ain't like you doing nothing special it's your intuition that 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 put these feelings in you that put these thoughts in you that that talks to you and when you look at billboards or you watch television or you listen to somebody's story it's like you create something out of it right like somebody could be telling you their life story pisces i bet you could see it actually happening you know what i'm saying that's how the depth of your imagination is your creativity right you can actually visualize this person whole life story as they telling it to you and that's why you be so connected to it that's why you would sit there and cry with a stranger and don't even know them, but you feel it because that's the goodness in you. God loves all. So don't never get too high up on your horse and act like you above the darkness or that you can't be touched or that, oh, that will never be me. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Nope. Universe say, hell no, I don't be like that. Okay. So with this 10 of swords also comes the three of swords. Okay. And this three of swords for me is a little different because take a real good look at it. It doesn't look like, you know, this person is being robbed. This is somebody who thinks the worst. This is somebody who used to people dragging them through the mud. Maybe somebody who homeless or don't got nice clothes or just ain't up to part, right? Somebody who don't have what you have, but have something more valuable possibly in that bag or within their spirit okay someone who down on their luck they can't fight no more life is difficult life is hard 
this person looks like, hey, I'm not here to rob you here. My sword ain't aimed at you or nothing. Now, I don't want that. I'm not trying to take. I'm here to help you. Right. Like I said, I felt that you might have to help somebody where it's difficult. Right. Somebody you don't want to help. What, what, what that is. Accept love. Right. Up there on what you need today to accept love. Right. Love everybody, Pisces, even if they don't hold your stature. Don't use nobody because of your position, right? This person look like they'll give anything. They'll give all they shit up. They'll give you anything in the fucking world just to be in your presence because they feel like you somebody. And I ain't saying you're not nobody, but I'm just saying don't become arrogant and all prideful and, and don't forget where you come from. Don't forget how hard it, it's how much uh, work you had to put into getting where you at. Don't treat nobody less than you want to be treated. Three of swords. That could be hard or difficult for some of you. And it could be heartbreaking just to see somebody who we is getting treated less by somebody who was once in that position. Okay. So that's the energy coming off of that ten of swords, y'all. We got this nine of pentacles, which was letting me know that Pisces, sometimes you have to venture off. You have to be on your own. You have to follow your own mind. You have to follow your own way. Sometimes you just got to leave people behind no matter how much you love them, right? Because they ain't where you at. I feel like you, you, you have a different divine purpose, right? And I think you have to remember who you are and where it all started because abundance is the pinnacles. Abundance is coming towards you, Pisces. Real live abundance, right? Some, some the type of abundance where you ain't gonna need nobody, right? And we don't want that to go through your head. That's all the universe saying. We don't want that to go through your head here. We got the six of wands. This is that success coming to you. You earned this success. You worked hard. Look what I'm saying. See. See, you was that person before. You were that person before. Okay, don't forget where you come from and how hard you had to work to be liberated, to get to where you at, to have the success that you have, to be recognized for the things that you do. Because when you was in that struggle, Pisces, you 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 really felt for real, right? What 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 it would be like. What you would be like when you come out of this situation of struggle, when when the, the pain you felt when you didn't have it, sometimes you may have went hungry, sometimes you may didn't have the best of clothes, sometimes you just wasn't up to part where everybody else and now you are. And there's other people that come behind you that's trying to get to where you are. Don't rob nobody of that, right? Don't rob nobody of that. Celebrate them people who walk in that path you already came from. Don't forget about where you came from. Have the courage, even when everybody around you, oh, that's a peasant or, oh, they beneath you, Pisces. What you doing talking to them? Look at them there. You know, no, love them anyway. Love them anyway because you was that person once before, right? But sometimes you have to leave people behind. Right, but you can always come back for them, and that's what that six of wands is representing. You being recognized, and somebody might be coming to you, crawling to you, begging you. Do what you can. Do what you can. I ain't saying give your life up and go backwards, but don't look down on them and act like you wasn't in that situation. And that could be whatever situation here. Ten of wands. Okay. Ten of wands here. It's a lot of people under pressure. It's a lot of people struggling. Struggling. It's a lot of people who have a lot of burdens. And they always got that monkey on their back. But they got the wisdom, right? See, it's like when you go through a lot of shit, you get smarter. Oh, yeah. You learn uh, from your mistakes. You learn lessons because you repeat them, right? And it seems like this person... Is becoming much smarter. He's going to learn how to bamboozle his way somewhere. He might have to fake it till he make it. Right? But he's wise enough to know better now. He's more cautious. He's more aware. Because he's been through so much. And the pressure is on. And it's like uh, boundaries that be set in life. You have to do certain things to get over to the other side. To come up out of poverty. Or just to move forward. It's been hard. 
It's been hard, but by the grace of God, by the grace of your higher self, you know, having the wisdom, the discernment to know the difference, to learn and grow, right? You can't be bamboozled no more. That 10 of wands releases right back to the ace of wands. So some of you then went through your cycle, right? You didn't, you didn't completed your season and now it's time. You got your opportunity. You got your blessing after a hard life or being in a suffering state for so long. You finally were able to come up out of the belly of the beast. You see the dawn of a new day. You can never go back. And, and don't forget about those who may need your help in the future. Right? Don't lead them under pressure. Don't lead them struggling. Do what you can. Don't forget where you came from. Right? High Priestess. This is the universe saying, Pisces, it's time to really be in tune with your intuition. Really to let that lead you, to really listen to it and let it be your guidance. Let it let your higher self be the God in you. Let that shine through right now. Because some of you, I just keep getting the energy that you forgot where you came from. You you blessed and you know the prosperity and abundance has touched you. And for some of you, you could have been in that position for a while now. And the person you are started to change, right? You remember that fight that you had to fight to get where you at? You can't lose that person. That's what the universe is saying. So listen to your intuition real good right now, right? Don't let your pride, your money, your situations override that true instincts, them true gut feelings. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, watch how you speak to people too. I feel like it's a lot of people. I don't know, and I know some of y'all are tired of being depended upon, tired of being needed, tired of people always coming to you for something because you got a good heart. And a lot of you may think that, like, you know, I'm tired of being used. I'm tired, like, like, and then you might just snap or flip, but it's going to be on the wrong person. The person you do it to ain't going to be the one who deserves it. This woman looked like she pregnant with a child. She on her knees begging, please, what did I do? She looked like, what did I do? You know, I just, you know, I don't know what this situation is, but just be real okay be assertive state your business state your truth but be kind and gentle okay i just feel the energy of being kind and gentle think before you speak to this person maybe there's someone who annoys you get on your nerves you know maybe it is the same person who always asks you for stuff you know what i'm saying or whatever that situation is just try not to be horrible Try not to have that silver tongue, right? Just try to speak and treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people, talk to somebody how you want them to talk to you, if it was you. Always think about the shoe being on the other foot. And you don't necessarily got to help the person or do anything, but just make sure that you're respectful and that you're not acting like you above, okay? It's just a certain way to do things, you know? Be gentle, be kind, because that queen of swords, she'll cut you your hair off, okay? So really got to listen to your intuition. It's going to tell you what to say. It's going to let you know who you need to be speaking to like that. Because some people just don't deserve it because the burdens, the frustration, all the build up, everybody coming at me. You know, I'm sick of it and you might just snap, but it's going to be on the wrong person. So really got to be really close to your intuition right now. We got the fool. We got the fool, Pisces. This is the new beginning. Okay. This is where you bring in the balance, right? Or or like, yeah, because the fool is curious. The 
fool is on a journey, is on an adventure. It loves trying new things and, you know, it loves just letting the wind blow them in either direction. It's okay. You know, once the cycle ended, Pisces is always looking for a fresh start, right? Because Pisces is a dreamer. Pisces does have a great imagination, a lot of talent and creativity. Pisces can adapt to the world no matter where you at in the world, you can adapt to that situation, right? So every, 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 like you ended some type of season and this is the new beginning, but you're going to have to be able to bring it into balance here. Something, this, this new beginning is going to be like a repeated cycle I'm hearing, right? A one way, because you know, karma, everything comes back around Pisces. Everything's come back around. So I'm really getting strong. Be careful how you treat people on this new journey. You never know who you going to need. This new season, be careful how you treat people, okay? My bad. That's what I'm hearing. Be careful how you treat people in this new season. So we're going to get on over here to the lovers. We're going we gonna to talk to it because I feel like it really ain't had nothing to do with this. But we're going to talk to the lovers here. Okay. Because that might be the karma. You know, whatever you do, it could come back in the form of your person, right? So just be careful out here, Pisces. Make sure your intention's good. Make sure you living out of your higher self, right? Make sure you're treating people the way you want to be treated. You know, maintain your prosperity and abundance. Keep it coming. Keep it flowing. Don't accumulate no more karma by treating other people horrible or, you know, spitting on a man when he down. And, you know, just make sure that you vibing uh, in that God-like image. You know, just make sure you good to people. Make sure you're just treating people how you want to be treated. So we're going to talk to the lovers over here. Okay, the lovers comes with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Make sure you're very clear, right, about who you invite into your life to love you in that way. Okay? Make sure you know the person's intention. Make sure you know the truth of the person you choose to want to spend the rest of your life with, right? The Ace of Swords, just be real, Pisces. Just be real when it comes to your emotion. And anybody you try to build a partnership to as well, right? Whoever you try to build a partnership with, a business partnership or whatever outside of love, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you always honest and truthful, but in a respectful way, right? That forms a love for a lifetime, right? Some people just got to respect it. Like, yeah, I ain't get what I wanted, but you know, they were really good people over there, Right? Two of Swords. Got to make the right decisions, okay? Because once you put the once you put those universal glasses on, you can't take it off. You can't unsee what you saw, right? Two of Swords. Look, it's like something's being shot down, not the sky. Make the right decisions. Make sure your intentions are good, because you could be up one day and you could be down the next, okay? So make sure you clear about what you're doing and making logical decisions. Make sure you're honest, but in a respectful way. Make sure you have the balance, the yin and the yang, right? Your situation has to be balanced all the time in order for you to keep it. Because it's as hard as it took for you to get where you at, it could all be taken away just like that. Life can become split into, right? You got to be whole. You got to be complete. You got to make the right decisions, right? You can't um, people please. That's why I say even if even if you don't help a person out or whatever those situations are where people keep coming at you, even if you can't assist them in no type of way, you can still treat them how you would want to be treated if the shoe was on the other foot. That carries a lot of love. That goes a long way. So you you just got to keep making the right decisions. Keep being honest and truthful. Right, but keep making um uh, the right decisions. Listen to your intuition. What's crossing this energy, Pisces, and it's the hermit. Okay, wisdom, right? Searching, soul searching, right? You could be searching for your soulmate. Okay, your soulmate can come through through you 
being alone and on that soul's journey, right? Because the hermit is just isolated. The hermit is learning all they can. The hermit is seeking something deeper in life, something that means something. And look, he's come to the edge of the cliff because you found it, obviously. You had to have been found it, right? This is about to be that new journey, okay? That new chapter. Everything has come to where we have to put our trust in God or the universe or whatever it is you believe in. You have to put your trust in that if you don't know the way, right? By listening to your intuition because that's the God-like image that's in you, right? You have to put your trust in that and let that lead you along with your intellect, right? But this the energy, Pisces. It's kind of scattered, a little here, a little there. Right, but that is the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. All right, Pisces, we have the sixth chakra, and this is the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to intuitive perception. I know that um, what my intuitive senses tell me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within and around me, and I know that it is there for me to receive. I practice developing my intuition, and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am. In the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. Right? So intuitive perception is our positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.